DBIS, the Department for Business Innovation and Skills, the Learning Revolution, and Learning Leicestershire. Here to promote informal adult learning. Hello everyone. Today we're looking at downloading a video from YouTube and embedding it in PowerPoint. As always, we've got our two handouts. One of them is called installing freestudio.pdf. That'll help you install the software we need to download the videos from YouTube into a format that we can pop straight into PowerPoint. And then also the other handout we've got here, which is called YouTube to PowerPoint.pdf. This goes through all of the main steps. Number one, what software do you need? Finding a video on YouTube, downloading it from YouTube, inserting it into PowerPoint, and that's it, we're done. It's quite a simple, quick tutorial, this one. So I shall jump straight into it. You may be wondering why I'm telling you how to download a video from YouTube to embed in PowerPoint, when if you've worked with PowerPoint, you'll know that you can put links to YouTube within PowerPoint. But as always, we can't rely on having an internet connection because if we are relying on internet connection and we've got a video link in PowerPoint, it won't actually work when we come to play our presentation. So we're going to look at a piece of software that will allow us to download videos from YouTube and save them in the correct format to put straight into PowerPoint. So number one, what software do I need? I am recommending a piece of software called DVD Video. And it's a free piece of software from dvdvideosoft.com. You can download a full the full studio from the website. It's got loads of different tools in there. And install that, and then we can move on to step two. If you do need any help getting it installed, then we do have the how to install free studio. And here we go, it's from dvdvideosoft.com. Shows you how to download it install it and how to run it for the first time. So I'll let you do that, pause the video and then come back once you are finished. If you just come back then we can get on to finding a video on YouTube or if you just follow along you're going to do it later that's good as well. So first of all we need to go to YouTube and find some videos, one that we want to download to put into our PowerPoint presentation. I'll just get Firefox open here and straight away we're on the Learning Leicestershire account. Let's look at some of the videos and pick one. Let's do this. I've just uploaded this one. What is Facebook? I'll pause that so we don't have to watch it right now. And what we need to do is copy the URL. So I've just simply clicked once in the box. Then I can right click and do a copy. That will store that URL in the clipbook on the computer so we can paste it into the piece of software when we get it open. I'm just going to minimize that down. So go to your start menu or your shortcut on the desktop. I think I've got one on here to free studio. And then we want to click on internet because this allows us to download YouTube videos. Click on internet. We want to do a free YouTube download. Click on that. This box then pops up and it says copy a YouTube link from the browser and paste here. So I'm just going to right click and click on paste. And there we go, it's already got the video. What is Facebook? How do I sign up? And how do I set my privacy? I'm going to make sure it's saved to my desktop, as we can see there, saved to the desktop. We can just simply click on browse and this window pops up. Click on desktop, click OK, and it'll save it onto the desktop. There's lots of different formats we can save it in. If we save it in MP4, that's definitely going to work in PowerPoint. Different resolutions here, we've got full HD, 720 HD, and then just normal video quality. I'm just going to save it as a normal video quality because PowerPoint files, are we need to keep them quite small. Once we've done that, we just simply click on download. And it will start to download. And what I'm going to do is pause this and come back once it's completed uh, so we're not just watching it download. That's just finished downloading. I went and got myself a cup of tea. 
Download times will vary depending on your internet connection and the size of the video that you download in. The video I downloaded was a 10 minute video so it took a little bit of time to download but it's fine you can just leave that working and then it will pop up and it will say download, downloading was completed successfully. Then you can just click on OK and close and then we can minimize that because we're ready to do the next step. So now we need to get the file into Microsoft Office PowerPoint. But first of all, I'm just going to see if it's the right file and just check the video, make sure it's all downloaded correctly. I'll double click on the file, opens up in um, Windows Media Player. And let's quickly skip through that, make sure that it's working the whole way through because we don't want to put it onto PowerPoint and then find out that it's downloaded incorrectly. I'm happy with that. I'm going to close that down. And now I can open up Microsoft Office PowerPoint. Either double click on the icon on your desktop or get it open from the start button. Once PowerPoint is open, or you may already have a presentation that you want to put a video into, you can click on Insert, and then click on Movie. It then brings up the window that's asking you where is that movie saved. We saved it to the desktop, which here it is on the desktop. Double click on the file. It then loads it into PowerPoint and asks you the question, how do you want the movie to start in the slideshow? So let's say you're clicking through your sales slideshow or your teaching slideshow, and then it comes onto the file with the video in there. Do you want it to start automatically or when clicked? I usually have it so it's when clicked, and then you get some control over when the movie starts to play. So I'll click when clicked. Now you can get that maximized so it's the full size of the slide if you want it to be or it can be small in the bottom corner you know, it's entirely up to you how you want that positioned on the slide and then you can either click on the slideshow button down here to preview your slideshow or just click on the preview button here I'm going to click on that and there we go it starts the video playing on the slide great okay well I think that's about it we've downloaded the video from YouTube using free studio manager which has also got loads of other cool tools and cool options in there on all the different uh, parts of the program that has saved it in the file format that we need mp4 we've opened up Microsoft Office PowerPoint and inserted it as a movie file thank you again for watching this make sure that you um, comment in the forums on Leicestershire Villages, which is the links on the bottom of the handout. Um, get on there, comment in the forums, and you can always ask us some questions in there as well if you've got any problems. Thank you very much. I've been Nathan Revel, and see you again soon.